Hello, I'm Synthmorg Zemplum. I'm a pack developer, admin of the Open Hexagon Discord, and contributor to the Open Hexagon source code. One of the most common suggestions we get on the Discord server is to add a level editor into Open Hexagon. The level editor would make the pack development process be completely done in the game itself, including the pattern design, the styles, the music, and all the other elements needed to make a level pack. There are games like Geometry Dash that have a level editor built into the game, allowing people to easily make their own levels. Now, Open Hexagon also allows people to make their own levels and packs, but this has to be accomplished through JSON and Lua programming, and all of the files have to be maintained through a file hierarchy, which isn't so accessible to somebody who doesn't know how to program. The bread and butter to having a level editor is to make development more accessible to the masses, which can be both an advantage and a disadvantage. This suggestion is so common that I'll be dedicating this entire video to answer the question of whether we will be implementing a level editor or not. If you read the title, you already know the answer. We won't add a level editor into Open Hexagon, and it's possible we will never add a level editor at all. Now I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, well Synth, that's quite a stupid idea. Geometry Dash has a level editor and it's a game that has tens of thousands of people playing it. Not implementing a level editor will surely kill any potential the game might have. Well, in actuality, implementing a level editor could harm the community a lot more than it could benefit the community. The main reasons include the amount of effort it would take to implement it, the negative effects that it can have on the Steam Workshop, and it would defeat one of Open Hexagon's potential purposes. So first things first. Implementing a level editor in Open Hexagon is no easy task. We would have to majorly overhaul the structure of the source code to try and make room for a level editor. We would have to spend at minimum a few weeks to come up with a design that would be both easy to use and feature rich. It's not as easy as doing what Geometry Dash is doing because Open Hexagon levels don't work the same way that Geometry Dash levels do. For the most part, Geometry Dash levels are deterministic. The level will always look and act the same for each attempt. On the other hand, most Open Hexagon levels have a degree of randomness. At minimum, most levels have their own pattern palettes, which are entire collections of the patterns used by the level. The level selects a random pattern from this collection and then creates that pattern on the fly, not in advance. Even then, these patterns can be randomized to be slightly different every time they are selected. This logic is already much more complicated to work with than how Geometry Dash handles things. On top of that, there are levels that do even more to make sure their levels seem more random and less deterministic. And this is despite the fact that most random number generators are deterministic themselves. You'd also have to make the level editor account for different lengths of patterns. This type of logic would be very difficult to express through a level editor. Sure, you could try to do drag and drop programming, but now you're already throwing programming into the mix, which is something that's already a key feature of the game. It would be silly to introduce drag and drop programming because it is redundant, it can get messy really fast, and it would just make implementing a level editor take even longer. Even if all the current people who are contributing to the source code were to drop everything and work on a level editor, it would take at least several months to get even a working prototype. 
that amount of time could easily have been dedicated to something else, such as other features for the game, bug fixes, performance improvements, all that sort of stuff. The opportunity cost for making a level editor has costs that far exceed the benefits, so it wouldn't be a wise decision to implement a level editor. But let's say that a lot of open source code developers now have an interest in Open Hexagon and want to implement a level editor. With the increased labor, what used to take several months now turns into a few weeks. Okay, you solved the time issue, but the moment that level editor goes live, unintended consequences are now introduced. These are consequences that apply to almost any level editor you're going to come across, with the biggest consequence being saturation. Since pack development is now very accessible, you're going to notice that the overall quality of open hexagon packs are going to lower significantly, because now anybody can just open the level editor and just make a random level, and this includes someone who may not even be remotely interested in the game and just decides to make a pack with little to no effort, simply because of how easy it is. Normally for an open hexagon pack developer, you have to plan out what you're going to be developing and how you'll be able to accomplish that task because it could take quite a bit of time to implement a level. By introducing a level editor, you could skip the planning entirely and just jump right into developing a level. Then anybody can just upload their level to the workshop. The workshop will then quickly blow up with tons of new level packs. Some of these packs will definitely be good, but most packs you'll come across will be low effort. Now, I'm not saying this isn't already an issue with pack development as we speak, but by making sure that people have to plan out what they'll be developing beforehand, it'll significantly reduce the amount of low effort packs uploaded to the Steam Workshop. In addition, it would also make it much more manageable for us to moderate any inappropriate or harmful packs that might be submitted to the Workshop. Besides the sudden increase of low effort packs, having a level editor will also defeat one of Open Hexagon's purposes. Open Hexagon uses JSON for the level, music, and style metadata, and uses Lua for the overall level logic. JSON is pretty much just condensed English and shouldn't take that long to learn at all. And Lua is a fairly simple programming language. Most people refer to it as a scripting language because of its simplistic syntax and how easy it is to implement Lua to modify game source code. If you look up a few tutorials on how to script in Lua and put in some work ethic and determination, you'll start to understand Lua and be able to start developing open hexagon levels. Even if you don't like developing levels in Open Hexagon, and it just isn't fun for you, at least you'll be walking away with some programming experience and a bit of game development knowledge. These are both things that can be useful in the real world and can help land career opportunities if you're still fairly young. That means Open Hexagon can be used as an educational outlet to help people learn programming and game development. If you're looking to improve upon the source code of the game, then you'll be learning how to use GitHub and how to work collaboratively in an open source environment. It gives the Open Hexagon community a goal to accomplish and establishes purpose. If we were to just simply implement a level editor into the game, then there's no need to learn programming. And since you don't have to put effort in to make a level, there's less you can learn about game development. When a level editor exists, you take away a lot from the learning experience and you'll get almost nothing out of it. This would hurt Open Hexagon in the end because that just means that Open Hexagon will be a mere trend, not an opportunity to learn something new. Now, all of this is why we will never implement a level editor into Open Hexagon, and even if someone were to have made a level editor for Open Hexagon, we will refuse to make it native. 
Now, that isn't to say that I don't want to make pack developing more convenient. There are definitely things about the current workflow of pack development that aren't the most efficient and can be improved. For example, it can be quite difficult to design a style for an open hexagon level and be able to visualize what it would look like. So ideally, it would be a smart idea to quickly be able to modify a style and then be able to easily preview what that style would look like. Whenever it comes to designing new patterns, how will I know that pattern is feasible to navigate and it isn't impossible or too janky? We can definitely improve the pack developing experience and make the workflow better than what it is right now. But a level editor is not a good way to go about this. If you want to create a level in Open Hexagon for yourself, you must be willing to put in the time and effort in order to make the levels that you want to create. If you don't want to do this, you can either pitch your idea to a pack developer and see if they are interested or just don't become a pack developer at all. Laziness is not an excuse to not try or give up on making your ideas come to life. It's not too difficult to just download a text editor like Notepad++ and then listen to a couple tutorials on how to program in Lua. In addition, we fully document all of our Lua functions on our website so that you know what they do and how they work. But I would like to hear your thoughts about this. Do you think Open Hexagon would benefit or be harmed by the introduction of a level editor? Feel free to write a comment down below. Also, be sure to like and hit the subscribe button if you're new on the channel. It's free and it only takes a second. If you want to get into contact with me, just join the Open Hexagon Discord server link. It's in the description. We like to see new faces in the community. Uh, and that's really all I have to say about this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.